And then um, through, I didn't really want to be a stage hypnotist or a, or, a, or a hypnotherapist and then sort of went through magic and just sort of ended up trying to tie the two together. But that's, I mean, it's university really, so I was 18, but it goes back to weird stuff I was doing as a kid, but really kind of university age, I suppose. Now, um, you've said that you're going to read Mel's mind. It's a murky, murky world. It's not pleasant, is it? It's I not, but it's it it mainly oh. food. Mainly food, food and children, yes. yes. Food and children. But I'm not thinking of food or children this morning. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm in the way. Um, that, that's my career. But um, so you're going to read Mel's mind now? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So Mel, just concentrate. Right. Um, all right. Will you? Okay. If you happy to, can you think of a childhood memory? Something from when you? Now you obviously have demons, so nothing traumatic, but right. something, something pleasant from when you were young, or a, a, th a memory, a memory of any sort, pleasant or otherwise. In your own time, love is life. No, I'm doing it. All right. All right. You're, all right, you're, you're there. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Oh, sorry, eyes open. Otherwise, I can't do it. Yeah. And look. Look at me and just think of, all right. Okay, so, um, give me a hand, sorry. All right. There's nothing psychic about this, all right? And this isn't me reading your palm, but You've you... are very soft hands. Aren't they soft? Yeah, lovely. All right, now you, you've it? just told me something. You've just told me that it's... All right, I'm probably not going to get this absolutely spot on, all right? Yeah. But this is, um, most people do this and they're tiny and you're not. You're a little bit old, maybe like four or five. Yeah. Uh, this is at home, yeah? Is your mother involved as yes. well? Yeah. Um, and it's, oh, it's, scary. I can tell you, if, if you imagine yourself doing the thing now, for a minute, forget everybody yeah. else, it's just you and me, imagine you doing the thing, and it's you being angry about something, isn't it? Yeah. And this isn't psychic, you're te you're, you are telling me what this is through perfectly ordinary psychological means, it involves, it's something you're not allowed to do, you're yeah. having a, furniture, is it furniture or something? <laughs> You want to do something and you can't do it, and you're being you're being told off by your mum or something, yes. and you're screaming, and you want to, some furniture or table. What is uh, it? There was this big conker tree, and uh, I used to get the conkers and make conker furniture with pins, using little pins to make tables and chairs. She's a gifted child. And, um, that's so weird. And my mum for, forbade me, forbade me whatever to do it, and I had a tantrum. And that's what you think. I mean, yes. that, that really was what you. Thinking. Absolutely. She put me in the bath and showered me with cold. That's water. wrong. That's no, wrong. We mustn't talk about that now. <laughs> there are yours, with red. and uh, we must cease conversation about that. Uh, that was fantastic. Round of applause for Darren. That was fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, is, this, is this a particular skill that you have, or do you think it's basic human psychology that every single person here could master if they chose to? Absolutely. It's like playing the piano. It's like being musical. That you, anybody can sit and play a tune if you've got a knack for it and you put in the practice. And that's just years and years of just a lot of practice. Then, then you get better at it. Have you yeah. ever used it to sort of do things like, you know? When you're chatting somebody up, for example, to sort of lure them into your do velvet the spooky voodoo eyes. Lair. Velvet lair? What, what, what a lovely euphemism that is. For no, 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 I, no, I just imagine. I, just, I, I hope just, you haven't got a velvet lair, otherwise something is going very wrong no, with I your own. I imagine your bedroom's got a bit of velvet in. I'm just reading your mind some way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah, that you feel yeah, uncomfortable that she's already visualised in a very intense way your bedroom. My bedroom and my lair. Yeah. Um, Do you ever use, ever use it to cop off, is what Mel said? Yes. You have? I have, but. It's it's tricks as well, you know. It's it's not that I can just walk up to people in the street and just control them. It's not like I love that. You. It's, it's a it's a <laughs> it's a, it's, um, a um, <laughs> it's a game. It's a psychological game that you get people to play, and it's it's trickery and, and showmanship and, and psychological techniques. You so. do that. I've seen on your show you do that thing where you do a sort of Vulcan mind grip thing when you put your hand. That's not worked on somebody and, and so people just go they go limp yeah. like that it's i also see you do amazing things where you've anaesthetized people's hands you put hypodermics through them yeah and they've just seen it and gone i feel nothing yeah is this you can actually sort of almost cauterize a part of the human body just through the power of the mind pain's a very funny thing yeah it's it's just it's not a funny thing but you, uh, you can get people to cut it's an odd thing um <laughs> you can get people to cut off pain from parts of their body just by just sort of keeping them, keeping their mind elsewhere. Could you cut this off from yes. the side of my body? Because I think oh, I have, I have, have a, yeah, I have Darren, a, yeah. we've got it's loads like of people a, lined up to wanting to speak to, to you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've got Aaron Scott, I think, phoning from London. Are you there, Aaron? Hello, Hello. there, Aaron. 
just round tables in, in restaurants and stuff like that. So it's a question of learning a few tricks, going to a restaurant, seeing if they're up for having a you know, Saturday night magician. From that, I just learned, learned all the sleight of hand, but then learned the psychological techniques that kind of came from that. I don't know where, I'm just looking around. Hello, yeah. I don't know where you are. He's in the um, everywhere. Yeah. And, then, uh, and then just sort of took it, took it from there. So if you, yeah, find a restaurant that'll have a magician and, and then you go to, you do the restaurant, people see you, they book you, you do gigs, and then the next thing you know, you're a, Magic. Table magic at bistros, Aaron, is what we're but saying. But learn the tricks first. Don't just walk in, otherwise it's, it's not good. Don't do what we do. It's yeah. not, not, you know, not learn what you're doing in the show and then just come on and do it live. Don't do that. Don't make that mistake. But, uh, do you know any tricks, Aaron? Have you got any up your, up your uh, sleeve? Yeah. You you start doing them, oh, he's, get out there. See, he's not revealing. Yeah. He's already in the magic circle. Okay, listen, it's lovely to talk to you. We're going to go now Thanks to um, Lisa from uh, London. Hello, Lisa. Hello, how Hello. are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good, thanks. What's your question for Darren? A girl. Right, um, <laughs> have you ever lost your mind reading powers? Have I ever uh, loved or lost? lost? Loved and lost yeah. my mind reading powers. Um, no, I mean, so, some people are very difficult to work with, and sometimes it, it, you kind of, for a moment, you, you know, really kind of struggle. Um, but as you get better, you become more sort of flexible and work with more people, and people that are trying to catch you out actually kind of become easier. It's like if I said think of a letter of the alphabet, you've got a 1 in 26 chance. But if you say, oh, go on, you can't do it on me, then I know you're going to think of Q or Z and it becomes a lot easier. So it's kind of... <laughs> okay, yeah, so yeah. Sometimes the more difficult things are easier. So no, not, not really, because they're not powers, you know. It's just a, it's a game that I'm playing with people and getting them to give me signals and... So not really. Good. Lisa, thanks. Does that answer your question? Thank you. Bye, Thank you. Lisa. See Bye. you. Bye. Take care. Bye. I think we've got somebody on the line from Loughborough. Is it somebody from Loughborough? Luga Baruga. Hello. 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 Who's Hiya, that? Chris. Chris, hiya. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. What's your question for Darren? Um, apart from sort of the obvious, obvious way, do you ever use your skills to exploit any situations? Um, yeah, I suppose so. Um, we discussed copping off. We discussed that. copping off. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what that means. It doesn't sound very nice. When I, when I, um, when I started off, absolutely, because you, you get really excited about about the whole idea of it. So I used, yes, I used to use it for. I used to go into casinos. I'm banned from most casinos in the country. Is there a picture of your face like, on casinos saying, don't let this man in kind of thing? I don't know, because I've never been in to see. If it was outside, then maybe yes. I might have noticed I walked past, but yep. I haven't. Um, uh, so, yeah, I used it for that. Used, I did use it for sort of chatting people up and stuff like that. But once you, once you get into it and kind of it becomes second nature, then the temptation to abuse it kind of, kind of goes. Um, so... Uh, I don't know if that answers your question, but yeah, I was naughty with it when I started, but not anymore. But now, now I'm good. good. Yeah. I, can, I can imagine you get, um, have difficulties getting friends to play poker with you. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yes. absolutely. Um, listen, we've got, yeah. so thanks very much for your question. Thank um, you. Colin in Sheffield texted in to say, how can I train my mind to be more assertive as I'm always backing down to people in work situations? I think a good start is to actually make the phone call and not just text. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just come oh, here in person Darren. and ask him. Ask him directly. Do that. Um, now, we asked you earlier on to uh, play a game with me. You've obviously read Mel's Mind, mm -hmm. very successfully about the Conquer Furniture. Absolutely right. And I had to draw a picture. All right. Well, let, let me explain what I'm going to do. Exactly. I've, um, rather than you drawing it, I'm going to get you to draw a picture. Yeah, sure, yeah. All right. Um, I have drawn a picture which I haven't let you see. Yeah. All right. I've got an envelope. An envelope. And... This envelope does contain a picture. Now, for just okay. to be absolutely clear so people know what's going on, I have not told you what's in this envelope. Nope. I haven't shown you. Nope. And really, you've got no way of knowing what's in here at nope, all. Nope, not all. All right, okay. I'm going to give you a pad and pen. Okay. Now, this is a bit weird. I need you to sort of bear with me. I'm going to ask you to uh, close your eyes for me. Okay. All right? And I'm going to show the audience what this picture is. I'm not going to let you see either, no, just so yeah. you don't tell okay, Sue I'll, or anything I'll, like yeah. that. <laughs> you don't know what this is, do you? Really, you really no, I'm know really, that. honestly, right. there's been no pre-preparation of this. I've no idea what's going on. It's a simple drawing. Uh, and it is a, it's a drawing of something, uh, Sue, but I'll just tell you that it's nothing too obvious, like, a, you know, a house or a stick man or anything like that. Can you all see what this is? Yeah. yeah. No. No, you can't. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you five seconds. During those five seconds, you must scream at Sue in your mind, not out loud, all right, <laughs> what the picture is. Absolutely scream it at her over and over again, all right? And Sue, just, just start to build an image in your mind of what you think it is. All right, 
Five seconds go, in your mind, not out loud, five. There's a man over there who's telling me he's eating too draw much Draw as quickly as possible. Draw, okay. draw, draw what you had in your mind. Have you done it? Has you done it? Quick as you can? Yeah, you can turn around now. This is... We did not set this up, did we? This is actually genuine. You really thought it was there, yeah? <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Well done, Thank no, you. Thank um, you. I'm actually genuinely now I'm scared. quite disturbed. Um, How did you, th but how, what? did you think of dog? Why did you think of dog? It's all I have in my life, Darren. It's a very <laughs> shallow, simple <laughs> life. The dog is there. That's it. You but know. How did you know that the nose was long and the ear was down like that and the tail? Was if you up watch this on tape over and over again and listen to the words I'm using, you'll 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 get it all. You'll see how it's you'll very see it. it's very funny because um, when you said it's not, you, you must choose a house. Yeah. I had in my head a house. A house, because yeah. I think it's probably. Best port of call. It's just a simple because it's a simple shape. Okay, that's um, that's, that's pretty spooky. I shall listen, watch the tape back again and again and again yeah, until yeah, I work yeah, out how yeah, the hell you did that. That's amazing. Good conchophonic skills as well. That was that was fantastic. Oh, now, brilliant. So you're, so you're the, fourth, the fourth series. This one. Uh, the, the, I've done three specials. This is the first six-part series. Goes out at the moment. They're saying it starts at the end of February. And I'll be touring this lovely country in March through to June. Very good luck, Gertrude. Fantastic. Gertrude, it's been a treat. Thank you very.